Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and here we're going to Phoenix Wright Conflict of Interest. So now, we're going into the game of, um, uh, trying to figure out what we're supposed to do next. So, we haven't figured, like, investigated much here, or talked to Waters enough, so we have to present either thing there, but I don't think we actually invested the scares, the stairs last time. The scare stairs. What's up there? Ah, uh, the crime scene. I don't know, can we go up there? I tried going up there. The crime scene? Then what are we doing down here? Because... It's fun down here. Don't you look at the, the glorious, like, you know, colored door. And there isn't much to see. Now I'll be a judge of that with my own eyes. We've already moved the body out. Don't you think it would be best if we went up and looked around? Uh, uh, no. What? Come on, Mr. Waters. Please, nudge, nudge. We're your best buddies. No, you're not. But we are in spirit, right? Nudge, nudge. Stop it. Nope, can't let you do that. Although, to be honest, I don't have the authority to make that call. I'm not really the one running this case. You're not running the case? What, so you're like a supplementary detective or something? Well, is that a new talking point? No. Huh. Guess we just present stuff? We can't believe this thing. Lots of neighbors mentioned they heard loud music coming from here last night. Had that thing hooked up to the surround sound system and it was cranked all the way up. Jamming. Woke all the neighbors up. Nothing more very happy. Oh, wait. Oh, god. They were playing the Rick Roll music. Oh, god. <laughs> Best thing I don't want to wake up to either. Because the, just that is the beginning of the case, I, I, I don't know how I can even begin to take any of this seriously, really. I don't think I know anything about that. So you don't know anything about the victim? That's related to the case. Well, that's not because I don't know about it. It's literally right there in the dresser. Okay, waters. I'll grab your shoulders, turn you around, and turn your face into it. Look, it's right there. Actually, why is the photo actually burnt if it's in a frame? What? Okay. Right? What the crap is this? Why are you showing me a bunch of chicken scratch? Well, don't don't insult the artist, okay? Not all of us can be gifted with amazing artistic abilities, Waters. Apparently. <laughs> okay, so we got that to be... Well, can we learn anything about the, either the like, defendant or Webb? Anything else I should know about the victim? Hey, uh, I'm actually not supposed to talk to you about that. But it's perfectly fine to discuss the rest of the case. No, I mean, uh, well, he was very specific about this. It's kind of top secret of something. Top secret? Oh, God. It's just going to be a whole thing of annoyances. I already feel it in my bones. What evidence do you have against my client? Be honest, man. None of it's that strong. The biggest point is that there was an eyewitness. She saw everything. I'll talk to this eyewitness later. Okay, so there's no little evidence to it, so I'm, uh, it's literally just proving she was... She didn't see anything then. Huh. If we can't talk to... We can't go upstairs for some reason. If you're not involved in the case, then what should we be doing then? I don't think we can even go back. I don't think we can go back to talk to books just yet either. Yeah, he's not here anymore. So we're missing something. I, Trucy, I know you're great, but still, I'm uh, working on the poster. G get some better drawing abilities. You're a magician. You should be able to cook something magical in no time flat. Okay. <laughs> oh, we re oh, we we're supposed to talk to. Oh, usually when you talk to, like, Maya or something like that, and just random places, it's also just a um, uh, whole thing of, like, a, um, uh... So what should we do, Maya? Any advice for me where we should go to next? We should go to here. Gotcha. Let's go. So, Nick, you never told me you had a fan club. Honestly, I'm baffled that, that many people find some lawyer to be at all interesting. You're not just some lawyer, you're Phoenix Wright! Uh, so? Maya, I think you'll fit in just fine with these people. <laughs> don't tell Oh my god, don't tell me. If that was really the one thing we have to do to progress things, I will eat my own socks. Please tell me it's not that. Okay, good. There's nothing so far. That's actually kind of, I don't know if that would be good or worse. So the woman should be living in here then? Right? Hmm. I am already lost. 
The umbrella. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't look up there. Looks like more damage from the fire. I wonder what this place looked like before it happened. <laughs> okay, that's just it. Okay, I was missing that the whole time. Uh, I'm a detective, sir. I believe you called for me. Oh, hey, you're here. Oh, hi. I brought what you're look you asked for. This is a very interesting case. Quite an extraordinary specimen we had this time. Dreesen? What's this about a specimen? That's something I should know? Test subjects. Oh, hello, sir. I don't believe I saw you there. I can't be that hard to miss, can I? Well, I mean, he's wearing prescription glasses, so I'm, uh, very blind then. More tea, Dreesen, sir. I have a corner from the police department. And again with the music, I can't take anything seriously. I am so sorry. I just can't. I'll just have a buy deliver the autopsy report that Detective Waters that he requested. Thanks, Dreesen. I'll look over when I have more time. Hey, you need a copyright? Oh, God. Uh, that's your poor, here we come. Just this music, it's giving me a migraine already. If you don't mind, sir. I'd like to stay here a bit and discuss it further with you. A few details that I found quite fascinating. No, that's fine, I'll manage. Oh, no, sir, I insist. Oh, boy. Who do I want to talk to? Uh, we already talked to Waters enough. Okay, so um, uh, how do you like reports and the autopsies? What finds you so alluringly fascinating? Would you mind discussing the autopsy with me? Oh, I'd love to, sir. It's all explained in that file, but I do not talk about these things with others. Much of his body was burned from the fire, so things are slightly problematic. However, I do believe that you'll be satisfied with what I found. What was the cause of death? The victim was shot in the head. Okay. Based on my expert knowledge, I declare that this is what killed the man. Your expert knowledge? That's probably a logical assumption. It was a single bullet straight to the cerebral cortex. I suppose you might say that he lost his mind. That's pretty offensive, don't you think? Too soon. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It isn't alive anymore, so I figured it wouldn't matter. It. He was still living just a few hours ago. I don't think we should be making fun of him. Oh, my apologies, sir. I thought you would perhaps appreciate my sense of humor. Uh, I like dark jokes next as the next guy, but if it's insulting someone, then no. I know that Dr. Waters here does. Oh, creepy. You know. Well, I mean, here's the thing, Waters. Since you're being, like, you know, you're going on on all about being um, uh, being feted by the police force or keeping silent that you work with the Rally family, how about instead you do your little um, uh, magic and get this guy arrested then? Or just, you know, have, like, the police force and fire him. Just please, God. The autopsy. Wait. So that specimen we're talking about was the victim? Wait, really? Oh, yes, sir. I was fascinating one, too. Fascinating. How can you be so insensitive? You know, that's a human being you're talking about. Not anymore, is it, sir? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. What? Of course he is. No, sir. Now he's a cadaver. I hate you. Or rather, it was. I don't want to talk to you. I suppose that's no longer proper. No! Stop! Just stop! You're n oh, God. I'm sorry, sir. Have I offended you in more ways than one? It's a police corner. You should probably have a bit more respect for the dead. Oh, my apologies. When you're around death as much as I am, you do become a bit callous. That's more than a bit of callous. I've around death plenty of times. I still have a problem with it. Hey, yeah, just drop this. I know this guy. He isn't gonna change. Get him fired. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, I hate this case so much now. Just, they did a solid snake sound effect. Oh, God. This is gonna be absolute hell. No. Stop. Oh, God. Detective, what is the man doing here? Uh, where did this guy come from? I don't have many voices to give. <laughs> it looks like something straight out of the grid. The grid. Well, uh, sir, you see, 
Uh, my name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a defense... I didn't ask for your name. I asked what you're doing here. Uh, apparently sitting around talking to you, you brittle ball of sunshine, then. And defending the suspect in this case, and I'm such an interrupt this conversation. We're doing... we're gonna be dealing with a lot of annoying people in this case. I believe that I asked the detective here. Are you just checking the... Why'd you allow him into the crime scene? Well, sir, he's a... It's a federal investigation. I can't have it be sullied by some civilian poking around. Why is it a federal investigation for... What is going on? The entire case might be jeopardized because of this. God, I hate you. Yes, I know that, but... Get him out of here. Now. Yes, sir. Come with me, man. Hey, just who do you think you are? Agent Togamera. Federal Bureau Investigation. This is my crime scene. Please tell me it's a fake badge. I really just want it to be just, I'm, uh... Oh, wow. Uh, uh, this is your badge? Oh. <laughs> just rip it apart. The FBI is involved with this? Ah, oh, God, please. Detective? Yeah, right away. Great, man. First you try to get me convicted of murder. And then you gotta get, get me back to my boss. Way to go. You're the one who allowed me on the scene. It's not my, my fault. Who was that guy? What's all that about this being a federal case? Uh, apparently Webb was a high-profile criminal involved with our Valley's family. It's a high... So he's not an ordinary civilian. Okay. I don't know too much, but the FBI had a whole case, whole case of files in him. It must have been pretty bad. The Ravalli's family? I thought we just got done with those guys. Yeah, they're still alive and kicking. Eh, they're gonna be the big bads. Or they're gonna keep appearing then. I was told the web was using his computer skills and whatnot to help cover for them. Do you think this might be another vigilante incident? Look, man, I don't have a clue. I told you all I know. Everything else is on a need-to-know basis. Apparently, I don't need to know. <sighs> and it doesn't look like I'm on that list either. Now if you excuse me, I gotta get back in there. Okay, bye. Nick, how are you gonna defend Mr. Books tomorrow if we can't even get into the crime scene? We got bits and pieces, we can't even go upstairs, so we guess we can only talk to the witness. We have to find some way to make do, then. First, let's talk to this witness and find out what she saw. She lives in the neighborhood. I wonder if she lived next door to Webb. Is that over there? I think it's just this house? You think this is it? Yeah, this looks like the house. What are you waiting for? Go ring the doorbell. Oh god. That's some mask. <sighs> Again. Again. I'm not looking forward to this. Hello. Do I know you? Hi, I'm Phoenix Wright. And I'm Maya Faye! What? THE Phoenix Wright? Oh god. The one and only. We heard you witnessed the murder of Mr. Webb next door. I'd like to talk, to you with, talk with you about it. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. What? This is the wrong house. Sorry about the confusion. Water specifically mentioned that the witness lived in this house. I know she's lying. Why? It just seems so pointless. Oh boy. Could you tell me about the murder? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Uh. Shamey died, though. It's hard to believe my own neighbor was murdered. It's clear she's lying with this, but why? And we're gonna have to deal with this now, huh? Okay. Time to unlock that goddamn red psych lock. She's gonna goddamn psych me out. Witness. Oh my. Miss, I'm not sure why you're trying to hide it. I know for a fact that somebody from this household is testifying in court tomorrow. Really? Look, we both know you're lying. This person told me that you are a witness to the crime. Uh, Waters. Detective Waters. Hmm. 
I'm sure you met him before, because like, he interrogated you a little while ago. Oh, that guy? Yeah, we talked about something involving guns and fire and death. So you did witness the murder? Sure, why not? Why? Why? Why would you lie about something as simple as that? I felt like it. She felt like it? I'd really appreciate it if you didn't try to hide trivial things like that. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Why don't you two come inside? We can talk more in there. Okay. What was that all about? I don't know, but I'm kind of mad. You and me both. Maybe she has some kind of bigger motive for lying to us. Oh, who knows. Okay. Again, this is a case I'm not looking forward to so much. I'm just not. Oh, nice place you have here. Have a seat. It's a nice place you have here. Oh, actually belongs to my parents. Oh, okay, so you're like a... Hmm. Like a student or something, or a kid, or just... Yeah. I'm just here for the weekend. Oh, you're visiting, okay. But it's a Tuesday. Oh, my. Can I get you anything, Mr. Wright? No, thank you. I'm just here to ask a few questions. Like? For starters, could you tell me a bit about more about yourself? I'd like to know a bit about the witnesses in my cases. Hmm. Sorry. Wait, you aren't even going to tell me your name? It's not relevant to your case. I'm sure your time would be better spent finding out other things. God. How hard can it be to just say it? Harder than it would be to not say it. Calm down, Nick. <laughs> Why so angry, Mr. Wright? This woman is really starting to get on my nerves. And another reason why I can't take this case seriously. I want to get through this fast. No. You're being awfully secretive here. Yep. Is there any reason for that? Yep, I have my reasons. I hate- why? Why is this- Ugh, God. Can't say anything whether or not you approve them. I don't even know if- would this song be copyright or not? Oh, God. Can't say whether or not you approve them. You really aren't gonna tell me your name. My brain cells are deteriorating. Nope. Matters so much to you, just go ask for some waters. He already knows it. No one make it telling you that. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> this isn't even that big of an issue. Do you really need to hide it from me? I've never said anything about needing to. Maybe we should change the subject, Nick. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Am I upsetting you? <sighs> Can you tell me about what you saw? Oh, somebody came into this room and shot him in the head. Not much else to say. And was this person my client, Edmund Books? If you say so. However, I think you should be defending him, not accusing him. I... Huh? You're trying to turn you, right? Leave me on like that might end up hurting your case. Don't try to twist my words around like that. Yes or no will do. He was the one they arrested, right? He must have been the one who killed Bad Player. That's really all you're going to tell me? I didn't see that much. Wonderful. Do you think we've hit another dead end, Nick? In more ways than one, this woman is aggravating. No, I don't. She just mentioned something very suspicious. Bad player. Miss, you just referred to the victim as bad player. What do you mean by that? Oh. I think you know more about this incident than you're telling me. My fa. More locks, more surprises. Somehow, I'm not surprised. This is this woman is full of surprises. Also, you've noticed her smiley face and her shirt changes for for expressions and sprites. Yay! Kind of makes things even more aggravating. Oh God. Oh God. Do we even have anything talking about this? Wait, did the pic? Wait, that picture. That picture. Miss, you're referred to the victim as bad player. We can't even look to the court record here. Okay. Is there a reason for that? No, not really. There's not that many options here. And given the nature of this case, it shouldn't be too hard. Well, I've done a bit of researching, researching, and researching, and I believe I know the answer. Bad player was the victim's coat. <laughs> was nicknamed that all his friends called him. Yeah. He said he didn't have any friends. He didn't? 
thought the guy was a creep. He never left the house and never tried getting to know anybody. The only person I know of who actually liked him was your defendant. Wait, so you never knew him as bad player? No, I might have. I de that definitely wasn't how. What? Oh, nick wait, nickname code name. Why, like, label's a code name? What? Wait, did they put it as a code name? Why is it code name? Just say username or code name. Just why absolutely code name? My brain is deteriorating. It was a code name. He was an agent working for the FBI. Oh, really? I never guessed that my next door neighbor was something cool like that. Yes, he really was. I don't suppose you have any sort of proof for that. I, well, no, not exactly. Mr. Wright, you should know better than to make just make stuff up. Oh my god, there's nothing that many options here. So there's Lee. Wait, this is a, a complete dead end choice? Why? I had the picture and I can't even look in the court record. It's. <sighs> woman. I honestly know nothing about this woman. She's aggravating to look at. But hold on. The picture has. Like, yeah, mass. Ma mass noob and bad player. Based on what we know, the mass noob is likely, like I'm a, Emma Books' username. It's just in a reason it's bad players, too. Ugh, God. And we have to... We don't have anything, so um, uh, we have to move away. God. Unless we're the presenting to her, which I don't... I honestly... No. No. She's aggravating. My brain cells just die listen, just going through her. I have nothing to say. My brain dies thinking about her. Just no. Stop it. Let it go. Uh, The goddamn spinning onion thing. Ugh. Okay, you're back. Uh, so, um, uh, do you want to talk about how you, like, I'm, uh, rather the victim itself? If we get closer to this, do we have to do yours first and then hers? But you, you just went missing the night we talked to her. She's, you come back out of nowhere. Okay. Mr. Brooks, I think you know more about the victim than you're telling me. No way, I wouldn't hide anything from you! Ignore the general awkwardness of that comment, I'm gonna go ahead and say that yes, you would. God damn it, stop it. Hey, why wouldn't you ask that? I haven't lied to you yet! Actually, you may not realize it, but you reveal that you know a lot more than you're telling. Somebody you never met him, you seem to be strangely familiar with... The victim's name, the victim's house, the death... You told me the victim lived in a yellow house. How did you know that? The police told me. I don't believe that. The color of the house is the last thing they would be talking about. Uh, yes, uh, fire damage. The Fire Nation attacked. If I'm gonna- if they're gonna have so many stupid references, I'm, I'll make my own spades. The police said anything to you, I highly doubt it would have been regarding the, the color of the paint. What do you mean? Anybody who'd been near the building lately would be talking about something completely different. That being that it was burnt to a crisp. Huh? Hmm. A good portion of Webb's house was destroyed in a fire last night. In fact, you can barely tell the color of the paint anymore, huh? So? So, what that means is that you've seen the house before it caught fire. Or the night Mr. Webb was killed. Well, maybe I passed by once or twice my way to work. You went halfway across the city. That's quite a detour. Sometimes I like the, the sneak route. Through the middle of the suburbs? Mr. Books, I'm still not buying this. It's obvious that you weren't just familiar with the house. You knew its owner too. It's pretty obvious because of um, uh, a burnt photo. Uh, at least, like, if you don't know, all well, the victim barely knows you so well. Uh, you knew the victim very well. Or at least, you knew him well enough to pose together in this picture. Let me see that. So it looks like you. Unless maybe one of you has an evil twin. Oh god, please don't do this. No, it's us. Walt and me. Why lie about that, really? Well, we're going to the whole thing of, like, why we can't talk about various things, then. Of course I knew him. He was my best friend. i had known Walt since I was in middle school. He's been like a big brother to me. So, you see? I could never kill him. Why would you want to hide this from me? Well, I'm 
kind of the only person he ever talked to. All his neighbors knew my face. No one never tried to kill him. A lot of people might think it was suspicious that I was the only one who ever visited him. That was actually really smart of you. But the prosecution knows that, huh? Unless I did take part in that fight, they might have a motive for me. A fight? What happened? I may have gotten into an argument with Walt a week ago. About what? You were online together and... Wait, online? Is this the same website you mentioned earlier? Uh, Ace Fan Club? Yeah, well, was a member there too. His name is Bad Player. He wasn't all that popular. Why not? He had a lot of arguments. Being online brings it out some part that brings out some part of the people. It's the internet. There was this fight with a few other users, and I kind of joined in. How'd you do that to your friend? I didn't actually mean it. I meant it as a joke. I thought he knew it. But then. Oh my god, we're- well... Okay, the, 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 the website's becoming more- god. I got a message the next day telling me to stay away from him. I think it made him so mad that he wanted to break off our friendship completely. Then I guess you went so far in that argument then, huh? It's all just a big joke to me, but not to him. It's either I'm, uh, you something completely wrong that went across with the line, or I'm, uh, he definitely, I'm, uh... Well, just not is not a good person, not a good friend. So I'm uh, yeah, no. And now, Mr. Books, it's all right with you. I'd like to see this fight. Would it still be up on that website of yours? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to go online. The Lily, wait, they're, okay, the Lily, wait, the prosecution might literally use the, uh, 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 an online argument for a motive. Oh god, well it makes sense, I guess, for like a fight, but still it sounds just... oh god. Yeah, I think so. The mods might have locked it, but you can probably still read it. If you want to see it, you can use the computer over at my place. I will let you use my account, uh, Mass Noob. Uh, thank you, I've been feeling this might have helped our case significantly. Oh boy. You're gonna catch the guy who did this, right? That's the plan. Alright, I, I knew it! Next stop, Mr. Book's apartment. Okay, not doing without beat music, no, not anymore. August 24th, 3.57pm. What kind of, kind of, um, apartment do you have? A very sorting collection of stuff. No. I see two posters, um, uh, a little mask under the bed, a plush, and I'm, uh, a very interesting looking, uh, or ball on the floor. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh, Saint Nick, we both know what you're thinking. I really don't want to say what I'm thinking right now. Apparently, Mr. Books' obsession with me is a bit stronger than I thought. Uh, if it's like real people, that's weird. If it's like, you know, something fictional, then I'm, uh, that's better. Like, if you like a show or something like that, then it's fine, but this is bordering on very weird in universe, God. Uh, yeah, the same thing. Uh, two posters, which I'm, uh, actually, I'm, uh, if those are not photos, that means that someone made art of a real person. That makes all this way more creepy, actually. Is that a gavel? Yes, I've always wanted to use one, but the judge wouldn't let me. It's not real, it's just plastic. Well, shame for you, then. God, what is that thing? Hey, Maya, looks like I'm not the only one who's a, he's a fan of. That's supposed to be Maya? Oh, my. Oh, boy. It's on the shelves. We're just gonna root through his old house now. I'm just, like, oh, God, the one thing. <sighs> if it wasn't completely obvious by now, like, about, besides the whole thing, if I'm, uh... Basically, I'm, uh... <sighs> yeah, the fan stuff, the fan club is just be, like, a weird, I'm, uh, commentary on just, like, this whole, I'm, uh, fan culture stuff. Oh, yay. This is gonna be fun. I can tell it's also meant to be in like good faith almost, but at the same time, it's very, very creepy. Ugh, difficult looking legal books. They mock me. Hey, these are all the same ones that you have. What? That has to be just coincidence. Right? Right? Oh my god. 
Jesus Christ. I'm just having a fun time looking around this and seeing uh, how terrible the defendant is now. It's a wonder we can have we can find the computer in this mess. What do you mean? It's right there. You know what they say, Nick? Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Okay, what's this photo what's this photo of? Are you serious? They made a movie out of me? So, okay. So literally, they're taking like all the fan stuff of like um uh, everything that happened in the, like you know the game world, and like the movies and all that, all the merchandise and all that, and putting it onto Phoenix in this case. I don't need to mention how wrong that sounds. Let's imagine you just woke up and without anything of your own volition, you, like you're going about your normal day. You have some like you know wacky like you know insane adventures like that. Like, and then like one day you found out um uh, oh. So I made a movie out around me with a, an actor that tries to look like, passes off as me, and just, you know, there's artwork of me, there's figurines of me, posters, books, video games. God. How would that feel to wake, to, to wake up and find out about all that? I would be immensely paranoid, actually. Especially with the legal books in the goddamn shelf. Apparently he, and then books, knows exactly what books Phoenix picked up, whether for class or just buying things for the office in general. And that leads to the question of whether he broke into the... if he or anyone broke into the office. So, besides annoying witnesses, we have some, uh, creepy, unsettling, uh, fan stuff being implemented, like, that Phoenix has to deal with. It may sound like some like comic relief thing, but honestly to me, it just it it feels so so weirdly wrong. Like ugh, God. I don't even think we looked around this more, but I'm not gonna uh, we'll, we'll say the computer for the next time. I just wanna look everything here real quickly. What's at the top? Uh okay, that's still the posters. Close the beach ball down there. I'm sure I've seen this ball before. That's just the ball that Pearl had in the second game that she broke the Ami Faye vase. Oh, I don't know about that. There's a post on the chair. How did Mr. Books get Magatama? He. People know about that? It's probably just a fake one. Uh, here, let's try it out. Try to hide something from me. I'm really sorry that Larry couldn't be here to help us in this case. That's not nice, Nick. Well, he's kind of an idiot. And then there's a blue badger down here. It's a wonder Mr. Books gets any sleep at night with a thing hind his bed. Wait, is it the proto badger or the blue badger? If it's the blue badger, then no. If it's a proto badger, then I'm, uh. Yes, he'll stare into your soul. Oh, God. I I'm. Well, I'll leave this off here. If it wasn't made painfully obvious by now, I'm really not looking forward to this. Hope I made my thoughts clear. I'd love to hear what people think about, the, I guess, how this is handled. Because I'm, uh, oh boy, so far it just seems so, so creepy. Maybe that's the point, but right now it just seems needlessly creepy almost. And we'll go and figure, and go on to the website and see more of this whole fan stuff, uh, later. God. Oh boy. I mean, it's the internet, so, like, obviously some fan stuff is going to be very cringy and creepy and all that. I don't want to have to deal with that right now. I honestly don't. I make so many jokes about that. I just don't want to deal with it, okay? Oh, okay. I'm not looking forward to this, and we have to go on the goddamn website just to find out this argument and see if it actually holds any water. And that's going to be a fun, a old time. Now, won't it? Yay. <sighs> so... We'll leave this off here and gone there for next time. So, what a fun time to watch as I am playing this. Hope you see me next time, what time it may be. And I all hope you a fantastic day.